I actually think this is the best accessory I have for the Fuji X-T4. Today we're talking about the Wii Poto wood grip and L bracket. Let's get into it. It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about a cool accessory which is the grip that I added to the X-T4 and that is uh, an amazing little L-bracket grip from a, a company called Weepoto. I hadn't heard of them before but I did search all over the internet and looking for a grip. I've never used a grip before. Oh, that's not true. I've used a grip, the battery grip on the Canon EOS R. I said it was the best accessory. And I actually think this is the best accessory I, I've got for the Fuji X-T4. So it's it's amazing. We're gonna take a look at it. And uh, it's small, light, um, adds, it's, it's pretty, it's beautiful, and it adds a lot. So we're gonna take a look at it. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. And it's flexible, you can take it off and you can have uh, L bracket goes like this. And so you can mount it on your tripod like so. And it's a really, really handy uh, accessory with the Arca Swiss plates on both the bottom and the side. And it's an incredible uh, little accessory. So let's take a few minutes to talk about it. All right, I'm super excited. Uh, might be a little echoey in here. I'm in the empty living room where uh, we're gonna be moving shortly. Um, uh, my wife is actually teaching an online class upstairs, so I'm not using the studio next door. I'm just uh, using this space. Um, so if you missed the update, uh, the last video was about just uh, uh, changes and we're moving and there's a YouTube studio space I'm going to create upstairs. But today I'm just filming in the empty living room. All right, so the cool thing about this um, wood grip is it adds that extra little bit of grip to hold this camera securely. And so it gives you comfort holding this securely. Um, so it's comfort in terms of just physical comfort, but it's comfort in terms of peace of mind. So it's a great piece of gear. Now the Arca Swiss, place, uh, Swiss plate on the bottom, actually once I uh, added it, I didn't even really sense it or notice it as uh, just seems like an extension of the camera seems that natural now what's awesome about this is on the bottom there is right here is an Allen wrench that's magnetized and so you just take it off like that or if you pop it on it just hangs in there with the magnet so that's cool so I'm just gonna add this in right here and uh, how many of you use an L bracket leave a comment right now and let me know I was sleeping on the L bracket um, I should have been using it a long time ago so you just take the uh, screw out there and then this piece sl slides in like that so there's kind of a fit so it won't uh, uh, it's kind of a fit so it holds it in there so you just start the screw with your fingers then you can uh, tighten it like that now there is another piece that I actually don't have with me and that is there is another hot uh, cold shoe mount that comes out the side here and so I have removed that um, because it interferes actually this L bracket interferes with the door opening all the way up so you can see you can't open the door fully when that L brackets there so that's the downside and that's why I have it off sometimes but it's actually really easy to throw this in your bag and this is how easy three twists you remove that screw and then like that. And then that's how easy it is. So this is the difference. I'm gonna remove the whole L bracket, uh, the base plate with the wood grip. So you can see uh, I have the 10 to 24 um, lens on there now, but this is the profile of the camera as, as it comes factory. And then we just add on this piece right here. And you can see it's not, that big a difference from that to that so from that to that that's it that's the impact right there it's pretty easy and then you just screw this on so two uh, twists of the allen wrench and the base plate is on and we're secure that way and then you just slide this piece in there and now you can 
uh, secure that uh, vertically. It's great. I love it. I think it was about 50 bucks, 50, 60 bucks somewhere in there. The wood is great. I got a wood shutter button to match. So um, it just adds this rich, warm look. And actually, I need to take off these leather straps because they don't really do anything. Actually, somebody gave me that input on the channel. You don't need those. That's true. He says it doesn't really keep the, uh, the camera strap from uh, scratching the body and it looks better without. And I rarely use a camera strap. Okay, enough talking about what the best accessory is. It's this Wee Poto wood grip. It's beautiful, it's functional, it's low profile. The magnetic uh, Allen key is, is a definite win. And then you have the L bracket piece that you can add in and there's a cold shoe mount like, so if you have a microphone here, you might put a light there. It's great. It's a win, 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 win. See you in the next video. Hey, leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever used an L bracket or a grip. Um, I was kind of slow to get started on it, but I love it. I wouldn't do without it. Actually, I'm thinking about if there was a grip like this for the XE4 that I'm filming on now, I might just do that.